Hi, this is Keith Peters. Welcome, folks, to Music Mag. So we're going to have some fun. Born in Chennai and started playing music from the age of 21. I was basically born in the musical family. My dad used to play music, my brothers. And I really took to bass professionally in 1982. From 1990, I started getting into the films by starting to play with Mr. Rahman for the jingles. And, and then Roja happened in 91, 92. From then I've been in the film industry. But first thing you have to keep in shape with yourself. You have to keep practicing. There's non-stop, there's no stop for practicing. And also keep along with the times, listen to the new music. <laughs> Style, first of all, depends on how the song sounds and that's part of it. If I try and contribute something. But then if the music director is very particular about something he wants, then you'll have to play. Mostly, basically, the music is universal language. The notation and the music is the same. Okay. But for the South Indian film industry, or basically the film industry, it's a little bit not like the American, the Western side, pop stuff. There'll be a little bit of raga-based kind of tunes. So if the director wants you to stick to that kind of raga, or sometimes we let you to be free, you can play free. But nowadays some modern guys try and say play with the rhythm machine, play with their groove or play along with the sequence. From the beginning movie, Roja, the first song, Chene Chene Aase, had a very remarking bass line. Okay. And of course he had programmed it on the keyboard. But then again, like you say, he wanted me to play the same thing, to give it a fatter sound. Mm -hmm. So I played on top of that and the line was, the, the Pallavi goes like this. If you want the Charnam line to, that would add a distinctive line to it. So it was Raman is one song, I think in Anjali, the main song Anjali, I just played some fretless lines over the song. That comes there smooth. Yenavale, that song, I have to do Yes, Labbe, there's many songs like the movie Indian, the Akada song, they are like a bass. There was a pickup I used to play that. That was the Nenrangila. But another one which came out later in 2000 was a very, still being a hit song, that's Kadal Sadagudu, it goes like this. Well, that's one thing with Rahman, he, to, he allows you to do what you want. Mm -hmm. And he's always smiling on takes. Down the years, I've been using different basses. Mm -hmm. Like for the first recording for Rahman and Studios, I used to use a washburn bass. That was four string. Then I got a jazz bass that is on different recordings. And from 2000, I've been using a five string bass. Okay. Like an Ebenezer. Then I had a Fender Squire. Now I got this as an endorsement from Warwick. And I use this bass permanently in the studios for recordings, for live shows. First of all, touring with him is a big experience. Okay. The hours of practice you put in and the rehearsals and sound check and all those things. But there's one particular tour I like to mention was 2010 we did a world, world tour that's beginning from the US and other countries. And there we played with the musicians from there, from America. And that was a real unforgettable experience for me because the, the way those guys used to practice and everything was perfect and then playing with a big setup and you have to give your best. That was Rahman. Yeah. He's, a, he's a perfectionist. A song from Kadal Desan, the Kaluri Saleh. <laughs> That was a good drift. So whenever I get time, four to five hours practice, I saw a nice warm-up exercise. Then there's... You can keep alternating. And there's 
also one more. All kind of warm for your fingers, and then this. And for a slap, you just. Just a few tips. Okay. Our upcoming musician, first of all, search your soul, be true to yourself, practice, and always thank God for your talent. <laughs>